Hi channel subscribers! Matt and Jojo with Sonoma Strong Hauling are always talking about how beneficial it is to try to do everything on your own. That's great. However, if you're struggling creating your website, message me. I can help you build a simple basic website for one low cost. No monthly fees, no other obligations. You can reach me at websitehelpatmail.com. What's going on, YouTubers? Guess what? We're back with another one. It's the Matt and JoJo Show. So make sure you smash that like button and subscribe button. And JoJo, what's this video all about today? Well, today we're rolling around doing some jobs and we're starting off this morning not even having to get out of the truck because it's gonna get loaded for us. With a forklift, baby. Now let's get this money. Now let's talk about the struggles. We had a bad tire on the right side. I knew that for about a week, it was getting worn out. And then this morning I checked the other side and there was another bad tire. So we had to stop at the tire shop and guess what? Shit just got real. I gotta get four tires changed out right now in the back. I'm getting all new ones. It's time for it. So I had to let the customer know we ain't gonna be there no time soon. We're going to be about an hour and a half to two hours late, but you always want to be safe on the road. And I got to spend $1,300 already. We need to get that back, JoJo. We do. We got to hustle our butts today and get that back. So always be safe on the road no matter what. Don't roll around with a flat tire. Actually, two of the tires in the back are bad, really bad. Other ones are like borderline, so we, we got to be know. safe on the road. No, we, we didn't know. know. Well, I knew the one was bad. Then I've seen this this morning, so always check your tires. Don't pull a Matt Vic like I did this morning, but you know what? Sometimes it happens, and this is part of the game, guys, the struggle. So $1,300 later, we'll be all good and back on the road to get hauling and balling, JoJo. Yeah. Now, how often do you find yourself at the tire shop? So you want to be a business owner and we always say it's super easy, but there is some struggles like maintenance on your vehicles all the time, changing tires, paying taxes. Oh gosh, paying taxes, Jojo. It's bad. We owe taxes the 18th this month. Yeah. I got to spend about eight grand, I do believe. It sucks. It, it does. It does. But, but still, I feel owning your own business is worth it. Yeah, it's just part of the game. And also you gotta worry about people cutting your Cadillac converter off, stealing your tools, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you just have, you know, your normal daily struggles. So what are some of your struggles? Is it getting your phone to ring? Is it pricing jobs? Is it finding good workers? Let us know. Now this is exactly why we're not cheap haulers. You got money to spend to keep you rolling on the road. Can't be a cheap ass. So Jojo, you know what I hate most about the Coronis? Back in the day, we used to be able to get free coffee here, but not no more. Oh, I know. All the time we would get in free coffee in there. You damn coronies. We hate you. Well, at least we can go pee now. So we are back in the game. It was actually $920. That's a lot cheaper than $1,300. That is. So we're gonna let you guys know exactly how much money we make today at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. Jojo, I love saving money, don't you? Yeah, it's great. <laughs> and it's almost ready, guys. Then we'll be on the road to get this money. So right now we are starting off our day $920.45 in the hole. <laughs> so we got some making up to do. So we are finally at the first job of the day and let us know how many jobs do you average a day? Now here's the first job of the day, and it's for a repeat customer.
to get out of the truck, but it's not so bad. But there's lots of garbage around on the ground that we weren't expecting that we're like shoveling up and putting into the containers that still get to be like dumped in. So the job is easy. Now the first round is complete and holy shit, a tornado went through there, Jojo. That was filthy, huh? Yeah, that was some nasty garbage. So Jojo got something from the customer. What'd you get, Jojo? Oh yeah, so our tip of the day is the Argenzio wine. Um, cause, because he owns a winery and he gave us a bottle of wine. So we'll either be popping this at the wedding or the hollers ball. So leave a comment down below. What's the coolest thing you got from a customer? Maybe a vehicle, a boat, something super cool. I know the best thing we got was permission to hunt on some private property. And that's the best one yet. <laughs> yeah, so let us know. What is your favorite tip that you've ever gotten? So Jojo, here's the real question. What's your prediction of the dump fee? You know what? It's going to be really hard because... We didn't really load the stuff in there and I have no idea like how heavy all those were. I'm gonna guess that it's not gonna be much. I'm gonna say 60. I'm gonna say $79 and let's see what happens. And leave a comment down below what you guys think. It's $131 a ton out here in California. So leave it in the comments down below. Now, Jojo, who's the cover winner of the week? D&D Junk Removal, Damien Dittmar. Check out that setup. I love it. Now, just so you guys know who the best is, it was 1,300 pounds at $86. Holla! <laughs> I beat you again. That's like the third time in a row. You beat me, but maybe a subscriber guessed closer than you. Whatever. We might have another winner. over our most recent live we like to do that we like to look at the chats and see if there's any questions that we missed and I discovered that we were receiving lots of comments and I didn't see any of them and they were from a 17 year old called Andrew Baylor and he is doing junk removal he started his own junk removal business at the age of 17 and he did it in a rural community and he has done over 80 customers so i just wanted to congratulate him for being so successful at the age of 17 and he's out there grinding so we're heading back for round number two and jojo what time is it right now like 11 o'clock yeah it's too late we got a late start <laughs> oh no we're getting money though so we're heading back over there so we just took a pit stop to get some snacks and I'm fancy over here. I sip on Herba Monte mint flavor and I also eat healthy, super healthy. I eat oatmeal raisin cookies. Cookies aren't healthy. They're oatmeal, okay? <laughs> what are you eating on? I do nuts and lemon water. So what do you guys snack on during the day? Leave it in the comments down below. So we are back for round two. This won't take long because there wasn't much stuff left. So let's welcome our newest channel members. We have Susie Phillips, Augie's Hauling and Junk Removal, and Raul.
complete and now we're headed to the next one. How far do you travel to go to your jobs? So we're here at the next job and let's check it out. And it's all in the driveway. Check it out guys, this is the job. And like I always say, it ain't that bad. And Joe, Joe's over here digging through stuff, trying to bring more stuff home. <laughs> so here it is. Well, you know I have to check and make sure that the ping pong table's not warped because I love a good game of ping pong. Oh, yeah. Jojo, do you know this lady? What the fuck? So here's the tip of the day. Whenever anyone pulls up and asks us, can I have anything? You say, oh, hell yeah, take what you want, but you have to take at least five things with you. And she took six. <laughs> Now, just like that, 20 minutes later, job is complete. So how many of you go the extra mile and clean up when you're done? Now, whenever you're doing a job and you see a sofa across the street like this right here, go knock on the door and see if they want to get rid of it and pay you to take it. And if no one's home, you can always leave a flyer or a business card. No one was home right now, so we're heading to the dumps. And JoJo. What is your prediction of the dump fee? This one. Oh, I hope I get this one. I lost the last time. Hmm. I'm going to say $100. You are? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to say $74. let us see what happens. So check it out, it was 1,900 pounds at $130 that JoJo lost again. By like a mile, I was <laughs> way off. Oh wow. yeah, you suck. Yeah, I do. and I'm wondering how many of you drop your tires off at a tire shop instead of the landfill because it's cheaper. Now let's talk a little bit of trash. How many of you out there are posting information and pictures of jobs you did every single day to your Google My Business? Maybe you do a job on the south side, so you take a picture of that garage clean out and you put the information in there saying, I did a garage clean out on the south side of whatever state, city you're in, and get that information in there to feed it to your Google My Business. And doing that every day will definitely help make your business grow. And that's what you want to do. You want to grow. And the more you do that, the more you're going to grow. And every year you're going to get more and more phone calls. So leave a comment and let us know what is your business name and how long have you been doing this? So check it out. We love when this happens. We got a picture sent a couple days ago of a power couple that does junk removal out of Clinton, Utah. Yeah, with BS junk removal. Check them out. That's awesome. Look how clean they look. I love the shirt. I do too. So get out there and get that money and make it happen. And let us know when you get to hauling and balling. And we wish you the best of luck. Now, Jojo, what time is it? Coffee time. Coffee time. Sponsored by Mad Trash Junk Removal. They met up with us once and gave us a gift card for coffee. And we're still using it. We love you guys. Now let me know where you guys used to work before you started your business. I used to work here at Safeway about three and a half to four years ago. Now I run my own business and I'm loving it. Now
Now we heading to the next job and damn it is hot outside Jojo, ain't it? It is, it's one of the hottest days. So you guys wanna hear something crazy? Check this out, Jojo, go ahead. Well, we have so many people that honk at us when we're driving that, you know, I don't know what to think. I don't know if they're like honking because they're a subscriber and they're waving and saying hi, or if they just like recognize the truck, or if we have stuff flying everywhere. Like when people honk, I'm like, oh, what's going on? You just don't, we don't know anymore. Yeah, they'll drive by, they'll throw the peace sign up, or they'll be pointing like that, or they'll be like this. We're not sure why they're <laughs> honking the horn at us. Yeah, it's crazy, huh? Yeah, we just don't know. But we're wondering, um, how much do you guys think that we make off of YouTube? Yeah, leave it in the comments down below. How much money do you think we make per month off YouTube? And you'll be surprised how much money we make, huh? Yeah, I think so. And we'll also have a video coming out soon about it, so stay tuned for that. So this is our last job of the day, and it's a hot day, and it's been a long day because we got off to such a slow start. So here's the next job. It's this carpet right here that needs to go. These chairs right here need to go. And that door right there. And then we got some speakers and a television, and that's it. There you go, that goes, and that TV right there goes. Here's something that will save you guys money in the long run. Whenever you do a job for a senior and you show up and you give them a price, always tell them that the senior discount is in there because if you're loading up your dump trailer, your truck, and you shut your doors and they see the senior discount on there, they're gonna ask for it after you're all loaded up and you already gave them a price. So make sure you always add it in there when you hit them with that price at first and that will save you money in the long run. Ain't nothing worse than loading something up, Jojo, than them asking for a discount. Yeah, that's true. Oh yeah, so save that money, guys. So you wanna be your own boss. Well, if you wanna be your own boss, you gotta learn how to roll with the punches especially in the trash business anything can happen you can get smacked in the head with a two by four get stuck in the mud get a nail in your foot anything can happen but stay positive and don't let nothing ruin your day absolutely nothing ruin your day look at how our day started our day started with four tires that needed to be changed and we had to call and reschedule we we still did our jobs we just called the customer and said, hey, we're running a little late. So we let them know right away. But you know, that didn't stop us. We still made killer money today and we recorded a video. So when life throws you lemons, make lemonade each and every day is what you make it. So we're done for the day. And Jojo, how much money did we make? Bom, chicken, wow, wow. I got it right here. It was $1,637, but minus $980 <laughs> for the tires, $130 for one dump fee, $86 for another dump fee, $30 in gas, comes out to $411 we made. But we also got four new tires, so. We did, we got new tires, and you know, we're not in the hole, we made $411. So if you guys like these videos, make sure you smash that like button, and we'll catch you on the next one. And check out our merch shelf because now we have the shirts we roll around in in the videos.